authored a powerful op-ed in the Washington Post in January highlighting the grave consequences of repealing the Affordable Care Act. He argued that repealing the individual mandate without offering an adequate replacement to bring young, healthy people into the risk pool will cause insurance companies to leave the marketplace in droves. And he speaks from experience because that's precisely what happened in Washington State in the 1990s. We simply can't keep parts of the Affordable Care Act we like, like no lifetime caps and no exclusions for pre-existing conditions, without also including meaningful protections to ensure the individual market doesn't collapse. This bill fails that test. The American Academy of Actuaries has already warned that re the Republicans' proposal on continuous coverage is simply no substitute for the individual mandate. The Republicans are playing a very dangerous game, gambling with the lives of the American people, and we should not let that happen. So Mr. Chair, I ask unanimous consent to submit um, Mr. McDermott's op-ed into the record. Objection. Thank you. And um, I just want to reiterate as well what Ms. Sewell said, that we are being asked to vote on a piece of legislation without critical data on the impact of our constituents, impact on coverage, impact on people's premiums. It really is, um, it's ir 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 very irresponsible that we're being put in that position um, and it does no service to the American people. Thank you and I yield back. Thank you, uh, Ms. Delbeni, for the record. Um, when Democrats introduced this bill, nearly 800 pages, submitted at midnight the night before, there was no CBO score, only a letter, not even based on the bill. Will the gentleman uh, yield? And so um, this, which was posted uh, on Monday evening, 50-some uh, pages, uh, most of which has passed the House before, uh, frankly, uh, is much more transparent and open. Uh, than the bill that we were faced with. Will the gentleman yield? Absolutely. Um, I was not here when the Affordable Care Act was debated or when it passed. And so I know there's been lots of talk about what happened. I have not had the opportunity to participate, and many of the members of this committee now did not have the opportunity to, to participate in debates that you talked about or hearings that you've talked about. What I care about is today. We are sitting here today with legislation that we have not a chance to vet properly. Neither has, um, neither have um, you, Mr. Chairman. You don't have the data either from the CBO. And what matters is making sure that everyone in this country has access to affordable quality health care. Thank you, uh, Madam Debbie, reclaiming my time. Are other members wishing to strike the last word?